Auckland running towards the Mount Smart number one end in this half. And it's the Warriors with all of the work to do, although they have shown some real promising signs. They just need to complete a couple of sets and get into the grind here because they've got more than capable middle forwards who will foot it with Auckland. Also got a fair bit of spark in this team as well. The short side they work it now the Warriors looking to make a positive start. And I tell you what, if they get points early, it will change things dramatically very quickly. This receiver is Karapani. Turns back onto the inside and good yardage on offer here now. This will be the last play. They swing it out to the left and will kick via Tupo. In fact, will run it. Looks up and then gets an offload away and back through the middle of the park now to Papuni who's taken to ground and it's a handover ball but that's a fairly good result from them and as a result Auckland will start this set about 11 metres off their own line. Well great start to the uh, first half with the Auckland select college team. Sikahili for me certainly a standout he's really uh, you know encouraging the speed around the ruck and keeping everyone second guessing and I think um, Two big forwards too have been drawing a wee bit of attention from the defenders on the Auckland side. And there's another great carry, you know, post metres going through the line. And here they come again. They just seem to have a roll on and I think they've had the best of, yep, still going with the momentum of the ball and a good fair share of it. And they've spent a wee bit of time in the uh, Warriors territory. So Auckland now back into attacking territory. Shot. Move it out to the right hand side now and space now for Daniels but taken out. The ball was played at so I think this will be another one for Auckland coming up. Another set here and a chance to build some more pressure. Ball in hand of Michelangelo Tolfa. College player of the year. Had a great year for St. Paul's. Topped the competition and points scored as well. Give a big shout out to my mate TJ Ashford over in the announcing box as well. He'd be far too humble to ask for a shout out, but doing great work tonight, TJ. Auckland now packed down the scrum. Sikahili collects from the back to Waipuri, and they go straight out to the edge via the wide back rower that is Sikai, and a penalty there. So prolonged period of possession coming up now for Auckland. You just wonder how long can the Warriors hold on? Sikahili's going to tap and go, and there's big boys dying for a carry here. Daniels. Back into the middle of the park. This is Sam Wilson, this impressive forward from Westlake. In front of the Hayden and roll it up right now. They spin it out the back. Was that knocked on? Yes, it was. Play dies on that one. Zabian Payne puts it down. That's about the first thing he's done wrong today. And we'll have a handover ball. The Warriors with possession 10 metres off their own line. There's a little bit of pressure mounting there. Auckland will be looking to try and contain the Warriors down here the best they can. Oh, big oh. hit. <laughs> Let him bump and go. Who was that? Might have been Pai Fortu. A centre dishing out some punishment. Four minutes gone in the second spell. Warriors really do need to be the next to score. Just from a momentum point of view and confidence for them. Another big short body the contact. You can hear it from, oh, what are we, two stories up from the... Middle of the field. Papuni. Karapani, who looks dangerous when he tests the line, but just to say that there's a knock on. Wilson picked it up and had visions of going 60 odd metres the other end, but we'll pack down a scrum now. Auckland feed as we approach the half hour mark. These are 50 minute games. And a big shout out to SAS Sport, the principal sponsors of the College Rugby League competition along with Hayden and Rollett. Been around for a number of years now and we certainly appreciate their support of Secondary School League in Auckland. So 
So ball in, Sikahili collects from the back and Auckland move the ball straight out towards the flank and Angelo Tolfer, well. Just tried to force that, didn't that need to. Ball was loose and I'm just trying to work out if that was a double knock on. It may well be an Auckland feed here. It is going to be an Auckland feed, so they dodge a bullet there. Angelo Tolfer might have picked up a knock as well, sticking his foot into the challenge there. So Angelo Tolfa with the feed. 4-2. Try scorer earlier. Isolates his winger again. Molly goes down the left-hand side. That is a deadly edge for Auckland. They will keep going there all day. Waipori is the first receiver. Comes into the middle of the park and links with Sikai. Another of the Southern Cross men. Daniels. Net head on though. That's good stuff from Victor R4. Michelangelo Tolfa back in field to Zabian Payne gets rid of the first contact and then pops an offload and they come out towards the left hand side now this is Daniels he is contained 12 out from the line but they look likely down that particular edge of the field Auckland 4-2 to Waipuri Waipuri comes back in field to Daniels Waipuri stabs a kick in behind, but cool as anything, Koresa scoops it up, and now Koresa breaks the initial line. The cover comes across from Auckland, and they will contain him, but not before he's made 32 metres. Great stuff from the Warriors. Custodian, and now through the middle of the park goes to Bo. Still going, throws a looping ball out the back. There's cover there for Auckland, although they might need more. It's breaking down the left-hand side is the five. This is Kyson Kingy. Warriors Academy player from Westlake Boys High School. Centralised now via Ropeti. Auckland done well to scramble back on the line. Jumping out of dummy half. Oh, he left the ball behind. That's unfortunate there for Yanni Proctor Harwood. Done all the hard work that time, but what about this number one? Koresa for the Warriors. This is the Second time we've called him in a week, and he's been so, so impressive both times, and that time just pure heart to break the line. Oh, and the distance of the run, you know, like they, again, fantastic break. Hats off to Auckland, though. They scrambled well on the line and managed to come up with an opportunity here as they get ready to feed the scrum. Oh, and so on that, the ball's gone astray. So Warriors back on it now. Proctor Harwood on play one. They are three metres out from the line. Pororu clears the ruck, goes to his half back, who burrows low and goes all the way to the try line. We wait for confirmation. Gratis points to the spot. The Warriors are on the board after 33 and a half minutes and right back in this contest, thanks to a lovely little effort there from Josiah Karapani, gets low after some good lead up work and it started with. Proctor Harwood, and then from here, the number seven. Shakes them off with a little bit of footwork first, and then from there, he's into a little half gap, and it's just bravery to go low and get that ball over. 12-4, kick to come. Some running repairs there on screen as we wait for the kick to come. Oh, it's off the upright. So score remains, Auckland 12, Warriors 4, 35 minutes gone here in our rep clash as part of the SAS College Rugby League finals night. And what will they take from that, the Warriors? 
Took them a while to get there, but right back in the contest now, although that kick missing means it's still a two-score lead for Auckland. And a knock-on on the next set. Well, that's really disappointing. Our fort puts it down, and he knows just how costly that is. Forfeits any chance for his side to build a bit of confidence. So Tolfa to feed the scrum. He's become the halfback with the loss of uh, his St. Paul's teammate Sione Vaihu earlier. And Auckland back on the attack. Sikahili at the bottom of the ruck. Into a little half gap. The ball is put down, but that was a close thing. And now the Warriors bring it back via Proctor Harwood. So a big sigh of relief, particularly for our four after that one. Did well to clean up. A lot of encouragement from the crowd we can hear from this side of the stadium. The Auckland College team to get up on their line speed, try and contain them down here. And Shifting the ball on. Great tackle, chopped them. TJ Devery, that is on the ball for the Warriors. They spin it out the back. It's a little disjointed, but it's a booming kick downtown, which will go up over the head of Cowden Hatch. Looking for some runners. Tolfa to Molly. And we know he can run. Four two. Taking down five short of halfway. Sikahili brings in Big Booth. Warriors contained him well. Sikai. Warriors are stopping the roll through the middle from Auckland. It's a much improved middle performance so far. They yeah, will get to a kick, but he's there. well spotted by my commentating partner, run behind his own player there. So obstruction the call, and the Warriors to receive a penalty now as we approach minute number 39, 11 to play, and they're well and truly still in this one. A big set coming up now for Auckland defensively. Harwood. Back to the middle. Sam Wilson doesn't miss, but it's illegal. Arm was cocked, according to referee Grannis. Proctor Harwood. Burrowing low is our four. Plays for Mount Albert at club level. We called him in the 18s earlier this year. Looping ball from Proctor Harwood. Finds Karapani. Ball's out. Ball's out, but play on is the call, and it remains tackle two. No touch from Auckland, the call. Oh, terrible pass. Picked off, and they might be made to pay here, the Warriors. 
Ball comes back in oh, field. It's loose. Back. Now back is the call. Finau Pyre then gets ragdolled to ground, but that was an awful pass from dummy half. Almost in slow motion. Sikahili to Booth. To settle it down. Inside the final 10 now. Auckland in control. Elam Payne. Sikahili jumps out. Dummy saw his prop. Fucker goes straight through the middle. Too fast. It's a Sikahili special. Carves straight through them. And Vaka adds a third for Auckland, and that could be an important one. Takes the lead out to 16-4, kick to come. Well, we only just talked about this young boy. Just after the half, he certainly knows when to go. He's got speed to go with it. Nice little dummy there, shaped, and just basically double clutch there and put on the speed jets, gone. There's a St. Paul's connection in that one as well. Both Sikahili and Leighton Finau, the prop that he dummy to, and you think they may have done that one a few times this year. Absolutely. Yeah, they really enjoyed that one. Great try. So kick to come, 41 and a half gone. And Auckland closing in on victory here in this representative clash. A joy to watch this Auckland team. So much talent in here. Look forward to hopefully seeing some of these boys push on to higher levels as well. Taking his time with the conversion. Flags are up. Auckland lead 18 to 4. And it's Vaka Sikahili, the latest, to inflict some damage. And he'd been testing them with those runs all day. Up over the 100 metre mark in terms of running already. So seven and a half to go. Take something special for the Warriors here now. You expect they may go short off the kickoff here. No, it'll be a long one down to the corner. Fielded. And then Finau brings it back off the back fence. Booth. It's a fair front row combination between Finau and Booth. You have to wonder now whether the Auckland boys will open up their shoulders and start enjoying the night and throwing it around with the last few minutes to go, or do you think they'll just close it down? It'll be interesting to see if they go away from the game plan. I'm sure the message will be going out to stick to it. I think in the case of a few of them, they probably have been letting loose and having some fun. Vaka Sikahili certainly doesn't look like he's been too restrained by a game plan as they kick and it's a good one it's gonna bounce dead but uh or over the sideline i should say that's probably the perfect result at the end of points and a professional set from the auckland school boys and the warriors look tired now Picking up the ref audio there. Complaint that the players are interchanging on scrums. <laughs> the middle referee letting them know that's not our problem, boys. Oh, he's dropped Ball it. comes loose. Knock on is the call. Hatch looks up and sees a bit of a staggered line and brings the ball back and then gets whacked by Oropeti. Sikahili tries to clear the ruck. Then hands off to Booth. Booth with a little change of direction at the line. Charging forward. It's a highly rated prop from Pakaranga. Vaka. To Elam Payne. Elam Payne bumps the ball to ground. He's tackled five short of the line. Options left and right now for Sikahili. 
They work down the short side and charging onto it at a million miles an hour. Will go close, but pulled down just short. And he's lost the ball in the process of it as well. But they went close that time, the Auckland schoolboys. Five to play. Yep, no, sorry, mate. That's how close he was. Five minutes to go, just coming through on a time check on the ground announcer. As we get ready to pack in again, they seem to have been an age, the Auckland team down here in this part of the field, haven't they? They've really dominated the possession count across the whole game, haven't they? And uh, as you mentioned, particularly in good ball situations. Mm -hmm. they've Can't wait to see that hooker when he grows up for the Auckland team. <laughs> Getting ready to break from the scrum. Here we go. Their defence has been pretty well. You know, they've scrambled well on the line, Auckland, when they're under pressure. Warriors getting a couple of runs on now. Looking for another one. Trying to speed up the ruck. Lonnie Papuni, who's uh, added some real energy to this team. Now that should be a strip. It is. Sekahili, the man pinged. He is human after all. Oh, he is framed. Warriors kick for touch. Playing for pride now, although they can take plenty from this. They've been strong and worked really hard today, the Warriors. Of course, uh, the Auckland side got first pick today. On the left-hand side, they go via the 16. This is Ikuasi. Nice little step there, tried to change the direction. Devery is taken down too short of the line. Papuni, the dummy half. Back towards the middle. Proctor Harwood, double pump. Space on the edge. Now Koresa goes up over the top of the first one. Will he stay in the field of play? Blue jersey's coming from everywhere, but he does exceptionally well to just pop that ball over the top. They lose yardage, but still on the attack now, the Warriors. Tupo, looping ball up over the top. Space now, perhaps, for Kyson Kingy. Kingy pops back to the inside. Lovely work, and the Warriors will go over for a second. Great build-up to that, Troy. Kyson Kingy with a nice little dish back onto the inside. We get a good look at it here on the SAS replay. They went coast to coast. This was nice from Tupo. Misses one out in the hands of the big fella who shows exceptional skill. And then from here, Kingy. Well, he tried his luck, first of all. Wasn't going to beat Hatch. Pops back to the inside where Eturu Ropeti is waiting. And then from there, just catches the Auckland line, having to change direction, goes over. Reduces the gap to 10 points, but the uh, clock is going to beat everyone, and we won't get too much more. After this conversion as Tupo kills this one in from the sideline and looked okay. He was coming home at one point there, but the flags are down. So it remains 18 to 8 with about a minute and a half to play. What a brilliant fixture this has been and uh, let's hope we see this going forward as well. Hopefully it can become something regular. I'm sure the players have enjoyed it. Certainly been a pleasure to commentate. T60. So a minute to go. Of course, not the end of the season by any means for most of these players. Most of them will head off to the NZRL National Tournament later in the year. For some of them, the National Youth Tournament as well. So plenty of footy still to be played, although the club and college season has finished at an Auckland level. Through the middle now go the Warriors. This is R4. He's got Tupo on his inside and doing really well in the end. The Auckland covering defence. They're going to work the short side now. Tupo pops up and then dishes the ball to Ropetti and it's put down. Oh, an unfortunate end to what was a brilliant piece of play. R4 through the middle. Probably needed a fullback looming on his shoulder there. Ball gets put down on the left-hand side, and that'll be just about all she wrote here. The Auckland schoolboys are going to win this one. A convincing performance 
from the home team, 18 points to eight. Real standout performances from Vakasika Healy. Tyrone Waiputi's been great in the middle as well. It is Auckland Schoolboys who win 18 points to eight over the Vodafone Warriors Invitational. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Streaming you three games in a row. It's been great to bring you the action. Keep an eye on AucklandLeague.co.nz for the wash-up and reaction from the games today. And then we are back in action on Saturday for the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership and Crown Lift Trucks Fox Championship Major Grand Finals. We'll see you then. Again, just at this time, guys, for us spectators out there, please ensure we do not cross the back. Again, on behalf of Auckland Rugby League, we just want to thank you all for coming out for tonight, supporting all our boys. Big thank you to all our sponsors, Farrelly Photos, Mike Farrelly, Tim Crockley, and SAS Sport. Look forward to seeing you all again next year. Thank you. Face now down the left hand side. They're breaking tackles for fun right now. St. Paul's. Aggressive line speed from Mags and they drive him way back to before he started. The crowd erupts in the background. Into a little bit of open space now. Yellow jersey is coming across. Mags looking for a faster player. It links up this fullback eventually. They're up over halfway. And backhand field and get that into you. Great thing about college rugby league, it is, you know, exciting to watch. You can't turn away for a minute because you miss it.